Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing Campus Movie Fest as well as Penn Badgley's visit to TCNJ. Stay with us. Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of LTV News. I'm Raquel Roberts. And I'm Aswith the Kalar. Let's get started. On April 15th, Campus Movie Fest, the world's largest student film festival, is returning to the College of New Jersey for the third year in a row. Campus Movie Fest is giving TCNJ Student Film Union and Student Finance Board everything needed to make a five-minute short film in seven days, including an Apple MacBook Pro with Adobe Creative Cloud, a Panasonic HD camera, and a Western Digital My Passport portable hard drive, a microphone and a tripod, training and technical support, and 1,000 plus royalty-free songs. The top 16 films will premiere at TCNJ's Red Carpet Showcase, and the top four movies will move into the national event, CMF Hollywood in Los Angeles, California, to compete nationwide for $150,000 in cash and prizes and professional gigs. CMF is free and open to TCNJ students and with a valid with a valid student ID and to, TCN, and to sign up you s just have to go to www.campusmoviefest.com slash TCNJ. The launch will take place on April 15th from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Broward Student Center Atrium, the collection on April 21st from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. and the finale will take place on April 28th at 7.30 in Kendall Hall. If you will not be participating in the filmmaking, LTV still encourages you to come out to the finale to watch and support the films that your peers at TCNJ work hard on. This past Friday, March 27th at The Rat, The Rat was host to Gossip Girl's leading man, Penn Badgley, also known as Lonely Boy. His character, Dan Humphrey, was adored by viewers of the show and praised for his good looks, quick wit, and for remaining a hopeless romantic. Badgley is now the lead singer of an indie band, Mother, and together they took over the rat to perform a free concert. Unsurprisingly, there was a large turnout. Gossip Girl fans made sure to be there in full force to support Penn, but some were let down. Fan Jackie Uvigis commented, quote, It was very hard to separate him from his Gossip Girl character. It was so weird to see him being indie rock and roll as opposed to his usual preppy. Another fan was overheard saying, quote, He was decent, but his openers were a lot better than his band was, end quote. Fans may not have been overwhelmed by Penn's music, but they were sure to snap plenty of pictures. LTV encourages its viewers to take advantage of other Cubs-sponsored events in the future. In the next couple of weeks, TCNJ's College Union Board is hosting a plethora of famous guests. First, on Wednesday, April 8th, TCNJ is welcoming Ice T to the Kendall Hall main stage. Tracy Merrow, better known as Ice-T, is an American actor, rapper, and singer who is best known for his role as Detective Odafin Tutuola on NBC's police drama Law & Order Special Victims Unit. On Thursday, April 9th, R.J. Mitt will be visiting on, at, for an event entitled An Evening with R.J. Mitt. Mitt co-starred on the Emmy Award-winning uh, Award AMC drama Breaking Bad as Walt Jr., who, just like him, has cerebral palsy. Mitt is involved with several organizations that raise awareness of equality and diversity and is a youth spokesperson for the National Disability Institute's Real Economic Impact Tour, which works to improve the financial situation of low-income persons with disabilities. He is also the spokesperson for IMPWD, the tri-union campaign which advocates for actors with disabilities and for beyond diversity, the future is now. The excitement doesn't end there. On April 14th, the Cub will also welcome Kristen Milioti to the Kendall Hall stage for the musical performance moderated conversation and Q&A. Milioti is known for her work in Martin Scorsese's The, World, the Wolf of Wall Street, in which she played Jordan Belfort's Leonardo DiCaprio's wife, Teresa Petrillo. She also played Tracy McConnell, a.k.a. The Mother, on CBS's hit comedy How I Met Your Mother. This past fall, she starred in the NBC comedy A to Z, and most recently she joined the cast of the season two on FX's Golden Globe award-winning um, far drama Fargo. Kristen has performed numerous sold-out concerts, including the prestigious Lincoln Center's American Songbook and Joe's Pub in New York. This event, just like the other two events, is also free with a TCNJ ID. We hope to see you guys there. With Passover and Easter weekend approaching, the school is reaching out to students who live off campus, asking them to take precautions before leaving for the weekend. There has been a rise in the number of break-ins occurring in the area, most specifically in student-rented homes. Leaders and residents of the Ewing Township community, along with students from the college, met in the Education Building on Monday, March 9th, to review developments in the town, on campus, and in areas where the two worlds intersect. The school has been making an effort to foster stronger relationships between the Ewing community and the college's students, as well as discussing off-campus safety for them. Ewing Police Department Michael Pellegrino urged students to take precaution before leaving their further breaks, saying, quote, 
If you can, keep a couple of cars in the driveway. If there's any way students can carpool, it's always best, end quote. Pellegrino also recommended keeping lights on timers, making sure that doors and windows close and lock correctly, and taking home any valuables. When students leave for breaks, their house can become an easy target. So take the necessary precautions and have a happy, safe holidays. Well, that does it for this edition of LTV News. If you would like to become a part of LTV News, email us at ltv at tcnj.edu or like us on Facebook. For all of us here at Lions Television, I'm Aswitha Kalar. And I'm Raquel Roberts. Have a great week.